Time for a shop video. This one turned out pretty well. The problem I was having, this is a uh, quick hitch. It goes on back one of the three-point hitches on the tractor. And it came, it's an aftermarket one. It came, it was supposed to be boltable, supposedly adjustable to where this top hook could go up or down depending on, I think, whether it's Category 2 or Category 3. Well, all my stuff is Category 3 as far as an implement, but the actual tractor is Category 2. So I um, ended up cutting. There's One of these was on each side. It was like that. And then it was bolted through. The problem I was having is once these were here, it made it too thick. There's one on each side, right? It made this too thick where this hook, this top link, was trying to go through the um, implement. And it was always hitting. I had like an eighth of an inch of clearance. So now I um, basically had to weld it up and... Uh, it should work. It should work. We'll see. We'll see how it I just needs a little bit of paint. That was a 6011 rod. And that's kind of my go-to welding rod, stick welding. I know 7018 will give you a better finish. But I like the uh, 6011 because I don't have to be as um, careful with my weld prep. So there's uh, a root pass and then actually three passes on top of that to tie all that together and I also did it on the underside I don't know, you can't see under there but maybe you can see under there it's basically I just reused one of the cutoff pieces and used that as a filler underneath kind of took this piece and put it under there and then welded it in there so um, I go outside it's a beautiful day out Oh, I might as well show this. So really I was, that top hook goes under here and with those sides on it, you can kind of see where it's always banging into this because it's really hard to line it up. And um, the main tractor that I use that implement for as a category three doesn't have that problem. But occasionally I have to use the Category 2, the 7220. Um, it's beautiful out here today. It's October 15th or so. And uh, it's about 55 degrees. I'm a couple days away from cutting my beans. So I've got the bean head all ready to go. Um, out here... You're seeing a cover crop, some residual wheat that was out here. It's primarily a purple turnip, purple top turnip on this 75 odd acres. Uh, my wheat's still in the bin. The food grade buyers don't want it right now, so it's going to have to stay out there probably until uh, January. But. Yeah, I'm just kind of trying to do as many shop projects as I can and fixing as many things as I can in anticipation of uh, the weather changing. I went through for the first time in five years and buffed these tractors, not the 4020 here, but oh, I've got things packed away. So I've got the planter wedged in there, i got the drill wedged over there. Of course, I got the grain truck crammed in there. I went through and I, um, oh, this is where the quick hitch is going to go. That black quick hitch, I welded up. So I got that hydraulic top link. So I had to take the quick hitch out. I don't know, weighs 150 pounds and horse it over there. But what I ended up doing on these tractors, I ended up, uh, I got some Harbor Freight buffing compound. And, uh, like I missed a few spots. Got a nice shine on them. I shined them all up. Well, it took a little bit of effort. I pressure washed them and then shined them all up. I'm pretty happy with that. Well, that's all for now.
I'm a parking lot attendant half the time, it seems. I'm moving equipment around. But, um, yeah, just wanted to give you a little update. Thanks for watching. Hope all's well.